Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and I'm here with Crazy Craft Obsessions Rainbow Magic for the month of July and off the board with pineapple papers. And this month's color is teal. And I found this pin on Pinterest that has all these really cool strips of different shades of blue. And I thought I would attempt to do that to document one of my favorite pictures uh, there's a lot of like tealy colors in this picture so i thought this would be a good one um, to use so i have a solid white cardstock and i've pulled some um, goodies but i've got lots of mixed media um, that i want to use to make those stripes so i've got one distress mica stain and three delusion shimmer sprays and they're all in teal aqua kind of colors and then i have these three uh, distress oxides and one just well two distress oxides and one distress ink and um so i want to try and use all of these colors and then i have all these embellishments and i believe all of those came from paige evans splendid and then I know the paper, um, this full 12 by 12, as well as the scrap is from Splendid as well. And I am going to use some of that to map my picture. And then I'm going to use this uh, Scrapping Reflections stencil with my inks to get a little stenciling on here as well. And so, um, but I wanted to use the sprays and maybe some of those um, ink pads to do the little stripes. So, I got my papers, I've got my embellishments, I've got some mixed media and a stencil. I have this fabulous picture and this cool pin. So, let's see how this goes. So, first of all, teal, aqua, turquoise is my favorite color. Green is my number one color and any shade that is tealy, aqua, mix of blue and green in any form is just the the cat's meow to me so i want to have this stripe now mine's not going to go up and down like um straight up up and down like on the pin but i wanted to add this little bit of detail with the um the stencil so i used uncharted mariner and peacock feathers to make that blended corner and i did the exact same thing on both sides except one of them i did the actual corner and peacock feathers and the other one is an uncharted mariner um and then i if you haven't heard <laughs> i'm moving by the time you see this i'll have been moved at least i better be um but i packed my daubers my little finger daubers which is what i would have needed so all i have left is um some of my alcohol ink little covers so i just pulled one of those out to create the little strippy i could have done it with my finger but then i had a big mess to clean up i didn't feel like doing that so i had to go over it a few times to get that smeared look which is the smeared look is what i wanted but um it, i had to go over it a few times to get that so but i just took that little alcohol dauber and pushed down a down the page a few times and then i take my four different um, inks. I've got uh, Calypso Teal, which is a Delusion Shimmer Spray. I have Blue Lagoon, which is a uh, Delusion Shimmer Spray. And Vibrant Turquoise, which is a Delusion Shimmer Spray. And then I have Tim Holtz Distress Mica Stain and Shiny Bobble. And those are the four glistening, shiny colors you're seeing right there. And then Salvage Patina is that streak of um, like that light aqua tealy color that's in between each one. So I set that aside. I did take paper towel, my roll, and just kind of put it down so it would soak up the majority of the excess. But I didn't want it really to take a lot of the pigment away. So I didn't want to like, um, I let it sit for a minute before I did that. So once I get that mostly dry, I'm going to put my picture down. Now I've matted my picture on that, what I had, that 12 by 12 paper. I matted that with a mm, quarter inch 
matte around and then this little bit of this teal and gold I cut in half now with as little as I'm showing I could have probably used even half of what I'd used but I'm not trying to hoard I have a lot of this splendid collection still quite a bit of paper quite a bit of paper so I really don't need to you know do that so I just put it down to where you can see that bit of paper coming out from the right and the left and I'm gonna get it evened up and tacked down um, and then I'm just gonna start embellishing so I pretty much went into my splendid collection and pulled out anything that was 99% teal or aqua um, I do have like that flower that's got the yellow inside, but I'm going to fix it to where I tuck it in to where you can't see the yellow. And I don't end up using that love this for a couple reasons. And you'll see me attempt to put it on here, like see if I can find a place for it at some point. But um, one, uh, it doesn't really fit. And two, I love this place but it's closed and that's kind of the concept of what this picture is i don't love that part <laughs> so um this is a local dine drive-in my parents dated um in this look at this place in the 60s and um then my dad well i mean as a family we used to go but my dad would take me and later when i had kids took my daughter and so this is one of those places that has a whole lot of sentimental value to us. And so when they sold it this past year, I think it was this year, but this side, the picture was taken just recently. Um, but when they sold it, uh, they'd been open like 71 years and it was family owned and everything. And it was just, it was heartbreaking for my, <laughs> for me, maybe because I'm a sentimental mush. Um, but anyway, so my daughter went and whenever she's missing my dad, well, okay, she misses him every day. But whenever she's really struggling, she'll go to this parking lot where the sign is still there. And I guess she feels close to him there. Um, anyway, so she was having a hard day. And she went over there and took this picture. It may have even been like Father's Day or something like that. I'll have to look because i got to write the date on here. But anyway, I thought it was a really artistic picture the way she's taken it. Uh, they have taken the building down and everything around it, but they've left the sign up. And you can't really see it, but it says, I think it says, uh, God is great. Thank you for 71 years or something like that. And so it's, you know, it's really cool. And we pass it on our way to and from school every day. Of course, we've been on summer break, so I have not been going that way. So but it's like um, my son and I will look and make sure it's still there when we go into school and so, uh, the day that it's gone, like if they don't warn me, <laughs> it's going to be rough. <laughs> but anyway, I have this picture document. I thought that her picture was really artistic because she's a phenomenal photographer. And it had like teals in it, like the lighting coming up from the right co bottom corner, the bottom part of the sign where it says chicken shrimp fish boxes. That's like a teal color. So I thought that this was a perfect picture to use for, um, the teal. So right now I felt like that top part was kind of empty because I put that little tag at the bottom for or the little label at the bottom. And so I decided to put a little um couple little banners up here. And the two banners that I made are from the paper that I matted my picture with, as well as that shiny blue and gold. And that is it. I'm gonna write a little journal on that label that's down the bottom corner. I'm gonna put the date on the label that is on the bottom right corner and other than that i'm done and i love the way this turned out of course like i said love this color love this picture it means a lot to me and so i'm excited to have gotten it documented that stencil guys is one of my favorites if you've never checked out scrapping reflections and you like to work with stencils this is that's the place to go um, anyway, so I hope that you will go check out all the other people who are hopping along with Rainbow Magic, um, as well as uh, off the board with Pineapple Papers. There is a um, playlist for off the board with Pineapple Papers, and that will be linked below, I hope. 
I'm, I'm trying y'all. Um, other than that, I hope y'all have a great day. I hope you'll come back and see me again really soon. I should be here again tomorrow. So have a great day. I hope you get a chance today to do something you love with someone you love and happy scrapping.